Hello, it's time for another Gita video. Today we're doing the last verses of chapter 7, so verses 27 to 30. And you'll remember in the last video I was talking about how you can um, you can't have the divine experience through an intellectual process. You have to break out of the, the dualism that the mind does in, in categorizing everything into little boxes. So with that in mind, here are the last verses. Scion of Bharata, the duality of desire and hate is born of illusion. All living things fall into this delusion upon taking birth, conqueror of your enemies. But those persons who have by trust erased all their past wrongdoings they will have become free from duality, and thus delusion. They will devote themselves to me with great will. All of those who seek to take shelter in me, for escape from the cycles of birth and death, such persons are actually Brahma. They know all that are transcendental acts. Those who know the laws of life that govern all spirits know me. Even at the time of death they know me, and their minds unite to me. So these closing verses of chapter 7, and chapter 7, keep in mind, is all about the yoga of wisdom and transcendence, vijnana. Um, the, they start by talking about that duality that I was talking about, the, desire of, the duality of desire and hate, of you know, boxing things into, into like and dislike categories, and how all of that is the generation, the way that illusion is generated, and that, that all living beings are subject to it. Any of us who have minds, our minds operate in that function. You know, we, we end up um, creating these categories of, of like and dislike, um, black and white, whatever you want to call them, that end up affecting us in this way. Because we need to, because that's how we create definition by which we can live our functional lives in the material world. And then it says something very interesting. It says, but those persons who have by trust erased all their past wrongdoings, they have become free from duality and thus delusion. And that line by trust is a very interesting turn of phrase because as, as I was saying in the previous video, you can't, by some intellectual process, achieve the God experience. What it requires is a surrender. It, it requires a type of grace where you're, you're, you're not approaching the divine by an attempt at an intellectual process, um, much less by, you know, your personal desires, right? As soon as you're, you're working on the basis of your desire, which is the lowest sort of way to approach... Um, what you're going to be doing is is worshiping some kind of craven idol, right? That'll hopefully give you what you want, right? But if you're if you're a little bit more developed than that, what you're going to be trying to approach is by a projection of your own definitions of reality, and then wanting a a god that fits that definition of reality, and that's every bit as um, as ultimately fruitless because you are still you're projecting. Um, a framework that you want God to fit into, and and that's not possible because God is is infinitely large, so you can't fit Him into that framework. What you'll create is a demiurge, is a is a pretend God. And if you get beyond definition, you will then be able to get into a place where you accept that you can't make an intellectual understanding of God. You can only understand God via experience, the experience of bliss, the experience of meditation, um, the experience of prayer, the experience of, of transcendence in various, in all of its various forms, the, the, the art of ecstasy. And in that way, once you're not trying to control the experience by defining it, or, try, or much less by trying to force the experience to give you something you want, then you will be free of duality. And thus, once you're free of duality, you're free of delusion. So there you become liberated. All those who seek to shelter, for, uh, to escape from the cycles of birth, birth and death, such people are actually Brahma. Brahma is the, 
the, the supreme spirit. It's, it's the, um, the, the, the essence of God as all things, right? And so it, as soon as you can get to that place of being able to surrender your attempt to, to define and dominate reality, and, and instead you open yourself up to reality without expectations, that's when you experience transcendental acts. And if you achieve that, it, then you will be able to know in, in a different way from an intellectual knowing, but a knowing by experience, right? A knowing of having united to the, the divine quality. If you're free of your own ideas and notions, then you can, you, you can realize that you're already united to God. The only thing that was in your way was your own, your own desire blocking your ability to, ex to experience that union that has always existed and always must exist by definition. So once you do that, you, you unite to the divine, you become part of the divine. And thus, even at the time of death, you will be in that union and you will be united with the divine. So that's everything for today. If you like the video, please uh, subscribe. If you haven't subscribed yet, hit like if you if you feel like hitting the like button. And share this video anywhere you think that there might be someone that might be interested in, in watching it. And uh, if you've just stumbled across this channel, well, check out the rest of the playlist of the Gita videos to, to see the commentaries thus far from the start of the, of the book until now. Um, and check out the other playlists in the channel for other very interesting commentaries on a variety of subjects in the perennial philosophy of mysticism. If you're interested in particular in a training program of spiritual cultivation, then you should take a look in, in particular at the Yifa Society playlist and uh, get in touch if you're interested in developing and working within such a framework. Finally, if you look at the description below, you should find a link there to a, a mailing list. That mailing list never mails anything out, but if you if you subscribe to it in the, the one automated message that you will receive, you're going to find there in there somewhere a link to The Path and the Power, which is the uh, PDF version of my, my book, The Path and the Power, um, which is a commentary and uh, interpretation of the Tao Te Ching which you can have for free if you really want to. <laughs> That's everything for today. Thank you very much.